Hi, my name's Eric, and I'm coming at you with a tip from VBAstring.com. Again, if you come out to the website, VBAstring.com, I'll have the code there for you. Today, we're learning about a VBA yes, no. How to do a message box with a yes, no. And a real simple procedure. And this example, we're having a, a yes, no and if you click no we can continue and if you click yes it's going to be dangerous but we're going to close the application okay at this point i'm going to show you what the code looks like by this oh what the code looks like behind the scene alternate f11 brings up the vba editor okay i am this the uh the best box here acts like a function returning me a value into this variable int answer and it's asked me a question would you like to close the best box and i'm calling it a yes no box okay uh, you have multiple choices here that you could choose from uh intellisense shows all the all the different options. I'm kind of narrowing my choice down to VBS No, and my title is going to be Please Confirm. Select the case whatever you clicked. So if it's VBS, you clicked, you clicked it, it's going to be stored in INT Answer in this integer variable. And if case of VBS, message box, here I'm not using a I'm not using the message box as a function. I am going ahead and just use it as a plain old deliver a message to the user. And here I'm, it's an information. And so notice that the application will close down. And application.quit will close Excel down. And if I choose no, I'm going to go ahead and continue. And then I'm going to exit the sub. Exit sub. It exits the sub without continuing any more code. So, uh, real simple. Uh, again, if you need the code, come out to vbastring.com and you can go there. I'll put the code there for you. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification to be made known of all any videos I release when I release them. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.